Pathstone Foundation is once again making a difference in the lives of children, thanks in huge part to Market Square Summer Social. It is a celebration of everything local. So we have local wineries, breweries, restaurants, um, musicians, artists, everyone coming together under this beautiful venue to celebrate local and also support kids' mental health in Niagara. When you walk into Market Square Summer Social tonight, um, you'll be greeted by our amazing volunteers. Uh, we have so many volunteers at Pasto and we can't do what we do without them. And you'll be greeted and you'll be given a orange wristband. And this allows you access to every single one of these vendors here tonight. Uh, as well, you'll be given a passport. So for your all-inclusive ticket that was purchased online, our guests come in here today and they bring their passport and they actually get to visit every single one of our vendors here, our generous, big-hearted vendors here. And they get to change or get to try all of those culinary masterpieces and delectable bubbles and wine and brew and just enjoy the night together. Pathstone has been providing world-class mental health for children in the region for over 50 years, and their goal is to improve the quality of life for children, youth, and families who are dealing with mental health challenges. Pastone has been very fortunate to have a community like Niagara, because Niagara has played a big role with regards to supporting Pastone, and we wouldn't have been able to provide the programs without the donations and the connections people have. And it's amazing that, that because we see over 7,000 families per year, that I go to any event and people come up and they're very gracious with regards to being thankful and appreciative to our counselors who have done some really wonderful work with their families. That is to me where I put a smile on my face because I know that the work our counselors that, with their expertise has made a difference. Donations to the foundation help reduce the wait list, support research and strengthen a child's experience at Pathstone. The challenge that's happening is, is that because I think there's a residual effect of COVID and the challenge that we're connected to children uh, having a sense of um, isolation and seclusion that has probably augmented the mental health symptoms. And so consequently, we're having to deal with an entourage of kids coming in for those type of situations where it's anxiety or depression or eating disorders is a larger one for the adolescents. So that's kind of what the challenge is right now that we're dealing with. Remind us of some of the services that Pathstone provides. Yeah, so we're providing individual counseling for these children. Um, we have also provide clinics for parents with regards to how to parenting in such a way that deals with the specific component of the disorder that the child may be experiencing. Um, we also have programs that are related to, like we have a 10-bed facility that allows children who are having intensive problems or are struggling within the family context, that we actually have them come and stay with us for like three months and they get ed education, they get counseling and the families are involved with them with regards to getting them returned back to home. We also have a program for children who can't work and learn in a mainstream school. So what they end up doing is coming to our school with teachers and a counselor in a smaller classroom facility so that they can have more personalized counseling and education that will meet their needs so they can go back into the mainstream of schooling. In St. Catharines for The Source, I'm Anthony Luongo.